back here welcome to the channel I hope you all are well that's right back on San Hollow the Sun is just rising as you can well see and after my most recent trip to Quail Creek I thought I would come over here and see if I could get a larger bass so here we go I'm trying a little bit of everything and uh, it is early October nice and cool man I'm loving that <clears throat> we'll see what's happening out here so join me if you're new to the channel consider subscribing it really helps us out let's go get them oh there it is we got sun <clears throat> Curious to see how the fishing is going to be today. Um, we had a kind of a little front blow through yesterday, and then uh, it's supposed to storm tomorrow. So there's some weather in progress. Wonder how that's going to affect everything. Water temperature at launch is 70.9 degrees. Man, that's money right there. So winds are supposed to be light today, six miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a nice day. So, regardless of anything, it's going to be a nice day. No more triple digit heat. We are done with that for the foreseeable future, thankfully. Let's see if we can find a bass. Man, it's just coming out there. Sorry, something on the graph down there. Just uh, coming out from the ramp. It's 45 feet of water. Whoops. Toss a trench hog down there real quick, see if anything's happening. It might have been bluegill, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. Cause you never know, right? Well, there's something down there. I'm 54 feet now. And it's right at 30 feet or so. Hmm. Interesting. I'm also going to try a little trolling today, too. That's worked pretty well for me uh, <clears throat> during the summer. Now that it's early fall, will it still work? I don't know. I guess we'll find out today. Yeah, no takers on the trench hog. Well, we'll do the usual. Move around, try some casting, try some trolling, structure, deep water, all the things. I've seen some fish <clears throat> in uh, 50 feet of water. I'm gonna make a quick pass with a DT-16 and bluegill pattern and just troll through the area. Let's see if we can hit anything. They might, might be bluegill down there, but it could be a bass. We'll give it a shot. Something down there. Try this for a second. See what happens. Oh, I got a fish on. I <laughs> there's a bass down there. <laughs> I was looking at him on the grass. He came to the top. Work. Work. There's more bass down there. 40 feet of water. <laughs> oh no. What happened? Whoa. All right. They were down there. Not much size, but hey man, I didn't get skunked. First fish of the day. And DT-16 and bluegill. <laughs> All right, that's definitely worth another pass. Yeah, I still see fish down there, so maybe it's not bluegill, but uh, bass or maybe a mix of both. Yes. Picking it up.
All right, just try out of curiosity, I'm gonna head back to that spot, about 45 feet of water, and I'm gonna drop down these little one inch gulf minnows to see if it's bluegill. There's a bunch of schools over there. So I gotta get that shot while the wind's not happening, so, so it'll get down. There you go. Little, little tiny thing, it's gonna take forever to get down 40 feet of water. All right, there they are, 44 feet of water. Take half an hour for that to get down there. All right, found the bluegill. Yep, that was definitely a school bluegill. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Bluegill. Well, there's a big school of bluegill down there. Well, I know where they are, so I'm going to continue on for some bass. And another school. What do we got down there? Bluegill? <clears throat> I don't know. Drop the trench hog down, trench hog down, and see what's going on down there. 50 feet, straight down. Let's see. It's more than likely bluegill, but you never know. All right, we're gonna try something else. Trench hog didn't pull anything up, so I'm gonna to move to a number five, 5XD Strike King here. Let's see what happens, we'll troll that around for a second. I've had lots of success with this pattern and the three, number three size, but uh, we got some five, so we wanna see if we can get a bigger fish. And there's all kinds of stuff going on down there, 25 feet, looks like another school of bluegill. I mean, they're everywhere. Man, they're just, there's fish everywhere. I'm at 60 feet in the, there's just fish everywhere. I just stopped and there's a school down there. I'm in 27 feet of water. That might be bluegill. Bit of a slow morning. All right, you got a slight breeze. <clears throat> I'm gonna let that drift me a little bit in about 40 feet of water. This is a Guggenbait Mondo worm. We're gonna toss that down there and see if anything is interested in that. the boat check out the graph bluegill I don't know. drop this down real quick wow they're not too deep either 15 feet or so <laughs> just keep 
those lines in the water. I'll let that Mondo worm just drag. <clears throat> doing a little drift with uh, Mondo Worm got some action so I'm gonna go back to doing that and see if we can get another one because that's pretty cool and I got a Texas rig so I'm just kind of letting it bounce off the bottom as I drift go back to trolling <clears throat> I'm gonna switch to this uh, chartreuse colored 5xd we're gonna give that a shot Let's see what happens hmm. got a fish one do I yep Take them. Get on that chartreuse. Sure did. All right. Yep. That's good. I'll take it, man. You know. Oh, that's this. Dang. Oh, that's a little bit better one right there. feet of water. Well, they seem to be interested in the chartreuse. That'll work. big. There it is. They're all pretty small today. Oh, wow. I'll still take it. 
Brooklyn Light Chartreuse XD5, 5XD. Yep. Here we are. Nice. Feels like it. A weird hit. Yeah, I think I got a fish. Not very big. Oh, I do. Show do. Well, well, well. There's a purse for everything. Look at that. It's a bluegill. On a 5XD. It's a nice bluegill. What? Do you really think he could get that in his mouth? It's a beautiful fish, actually. Man. <laughs> wow, there you go. I can't believe I just caught a bluegill on a big old 5XD. Well, it's noon now, so I wonder if things will pick up as we get into afternoon. All right, gonna switch switch back to a trench hog for a second. And give that a shot too. Trench hog happened. Yeah, I feel you, buddy. All right. There we go. That'll work. Take that. <laughs> That's interesting because earlier this morning I was using a trench hog and uh, I didn't have any luck on it. I don't know if it was the particular one I was using or just, you know, I mean, morning versus the afternoon, things change, lighting changes. I don't know, man. You know, choose your variable. <laughs> but it's something to think about anyway. So the problem is, is that I guess see I got two different trench hogs here this is the one I like to use out here is the watermelon red flake this is the Bama bug this is the one I used this morning I didn't get any action off that but the minute I put the watermelon red flake in I get a bass so and I only have one of these and it's already I don't know I might be able to use it got pretty shredded there but uh, if I go back to the Bama bug Am I going to strike out? Questions. Always these questions. I don't know. I think I might be able to get one more use out of this. Yeah, we'll give that a shot again. That's the watermelon. Oh, man. Might have to go back to trolling for a second. The gnats are driving me insane. Clouds are moving in too. Like I said this morning, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so. I see, I'm 36 feet. I wonder how long I can run this for. Let's try the DT16 real quick. Let's see how far I can stay in uh, this depth of water. There's something down there. Alright, back to the trench hog. 
a little breeze. Maybe that'll push me on down. Cover a little ground with this thing. Absolutely. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Not bad. They're getting a little bigger. <laughs> Cheers, folks. All right, I'm gonna go back to the 5XD in that bright chartreuse color. That seemed to work. And I'm gonna move around a little bit because the gnats are, whew, I've had enough of them. <sighs> Let's see if we can pick up anything. Doing a little trolling. I got this one. Scrap them to a brick. Ooh. Man, that didn't take long. 35 feet of water. Hopefully this one's got some size. Feels like this was size, but I have his mouth open coming up. one I've had today I think it's a beauty all right oh it's encouraging enough to continue trolling I must say so it's warmed up pretty well too today not a hundred degrees though down there. Yep, they are down there. I feel 
very big. It's another bluegill? <laughs> Can't believe I caught a bluegill trolling. Big old XD. Oh, I think he might have got off. Add my fear. Another one? Dude. Oh no! I got another one. Look at that. Oh no. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Another bluegill. Hey, these are pretty decent size, you know. Oh, that's not bluegill there. That's no bluegill. Or if it is, it's a big one. Chartreuse. It's these little guys around. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. Fish one. Fish one. Is there a fish down there? It's just another small one. smaller though. <laughs> I mean look at that. <laughs> Fish on. This one. This one. <laughs> nice. Oh, and again. There he is. Woo! Matt in my ear. Oh, mercy. There you have it. <laughs> oh, no. Take it. All right, well, I think that's gonna be a wrap. There you have it. Early October, early fall on Sand Hollow. Not bad at all. Kind of a mixed bag for me today. Did all right uh, tossing the uh, Texas rigged Mondo worm 
and trench hog and then uh, did well trolling with the uh, chartreuse XD both brought in fish actually caught bluegill trolling the XD it's crazy yeah caught some bluegill today too so not a bad day at all I can't complain and I think we got some weather moving in it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow so I might come back out here right at the end of October uh, temperatures are gonna just keep going down and down and down so it should be nice and cool by the end of October not too bad today warmed up nicely but uh, yeah can't beat it it's very nice to be out here without the triple digit heat for sure anyway folks thank you very much for watching thank you for sticking with us thank you to the subscribers thank you to the patrons thank you all we'll see you next time you rock out adios